Hello, my lovely anime vibers. Do you want to find out about an anime about a girl who is a shut-in and also doesn't like to drink blood or use magic? If this anime sounds interesting to you, let's roll the intro. Welcome back to the anime review. Here, where the word death is not permanent, Teker no Kuro, God's Blood, has been a self complete professional shut in for the past three years. As part of the noble God's Blood lineage, she once tried to be the expedition of her family. However, as a vampire who cannot use magic or consume blood, she seems to up becoming an imperial general like her ancestors. And unfortunately, a misunderstanding with her father earns her the formidable position of one of the seven crimson lords, the strongest fighters and generals in the multi light empire. Now, Corrie must hide her lack of talent from the soldiers she commands, or any attempt to overthrow her. Working alongside her nearly son maid, Vile, Corrie must manage to trick her unit of soldiers to believe she's a ruthless warlord and promise to conquer the world. But, as more people come to admire Kirby, her life is further threatened as vampires from her past reappear with intention to kill her for good. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered October 7th to December 30th, 2022. Based on a light novel, it is economy, fantasy, theme of vampire. Each episode is 23 minutes and is PG-13. Now, it's really interesting because I'm like, nowhere in the world we have a shut-in vampire. And it's even more interesting that the vampire princess herself doesn't like consuming blood. She wants to be a peaceful vampire, which is interesting within itself. And why is the reason that she doesn't like blood? And we find out why she doesn't like blood. So if you want to find out more about that, definitely check it out. Overall, I feel like the pacing of the anime was okay. It was fine. The plot was iffy. There were some hints of like GL in there, but the feeling like you didn't really need that part in there. I thought it made Val in general. But overall, the fight seemed pretty good when she actually did fight, and the characters were e decent, interesting backstory. Pacing was okay. Art style was fine. Um, overall, the, the characters were like, you know, I think super relatable. Besides the main protagonist where she doesn't like to drink blood, but that was just the one thing that was just the to be for her. It was an interesting plot twist, you know, find out why she doesn't like to drink blood and wants to be a quote unquote peaceful vampire. Overall, the story was good. Having people to return from her past was really good, like a little twist in there that I liked a lot. And her just trying to make sure like her reputation isn't like really because she doesn't want to fight. So definitely check out the Mexication and the Shadow of Fire Princess. And let me know what you think about the cosplay. And I'll see you soon for another anime review. Until then, bye!